it's 8 a.m. in the morning. I've been sleeping like 12 hours. And anyway, good morning and touchy delay to everyone. Hope you are having an amazing day. This is Jim Young and welcome back to my channel. And you see how beautiful this morning is. Everywhere is snow. And today is uh, day three trekking from Surpur to Yangbachan Monastery. Anyway, that's a really beautiful morning. That's a really beautiful beginning for me. Thank you guys. Shokba <laughs> Dele! Look at the mountain. Good morning, my friend. Good morning. Shit, shit, shit. Shit, 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 shit. It's like freezing. Tattoo you were to go. Tattoo you were. Ah. So what the lit? I think this horse is just like, I don't know why they are letting them in the river. Maybe it's good for the horse. Anyway, it's strange for me because it's like super cold. All right, guys, now I'm going to go back. I'm going to take a breakfast and then have to start my trekking. The neighbor just gave me the hot water and this is my breakfast. A really delicious instant noodle. <laughs> Yaki, yaki, yaki. Ah, there are more and more yaks coming here. Good morning, yaks. Look at that cute one. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so today is a day three. I'm somewhere here. We are here at Letten and I'm gonna cross a Lasala Pass, which is about 5,600 meters. And tonight we're gonna stop somewhere here, Barso. And the altitude now is about 5,300. So tonight it will be a little bit lower, maybe around 4,700 meter. My map will go inside here. All right. This place is a really memorable place for me and it's still snowing. So bye bye Letton. I really enjoyed it so much here. And I'm going to say goodbye to my friend here. <laughs> well, yeah, Jungle. For everything. Thank you for everything. Thank you for letting me to charge my batteries. Thank you for letting me to let me camp here in his yard. So, everything went perfect. So, bye bye, Latin. 5,300 meter. Really beautiful. So Latin is really a cold village. The temperature now is about minus eight, which is like really, really cold. So when you are trekking, please remember to bring a really good sleeping bag with an extra blanket, you know, because one sleeping bag is not enough, even though it says minus 15. And down there, you can see, Letan, Letan. I can see a lonely family up there. I'm gonna ask for a hot water because I don't have any water left. There's the door. Hello. Hello. Chukwe is there, you know? 
Ой, я скрыть. Вот эти. Тачи. Now that hot water will save me for five, six kilometers, I think. Beautiful people, beautiful place, beautiful mountain. Ha! Looks like a gate. I have to climb uh, all the way up there. That pass. 5,600 meters. It's quite high. It's a beautiful rock. Looks like golden. My eye seems to be much better than yesterday. I haven't put any sun lotion this morning. I think it's all because of sun lotion. It's not because of altitude. Look at the weather. It's all cloud here and here. It's blue. So it's like a, it's a for me, it's like a border. And I'm wondering what's behind this mountain. It's so blue and so clean. <sighs> Looks like it's the highest point. <sighs> the weather on this side is much better than this side, you see. <sighs> so cloudy there. Now I couldn't see Latin village. Wow. So blue. Yeah, so whenever you reach to the pass, you should go like clockwise, not an anti-clockwise, okay? That's kind of respect to the mountains, to the nature. So you have to make the clockwise turn. So I'm here at the pass, 5,520 meter. That means it's not the highest point. Because the highest point on this tracking is 5,600 meter. Anyway, it's so beautiful. The valley. Out in the sky, and now I'll show you the view from here. Okay. All right, so whenever we reach at the pass in Tibet, we always used to throw the prayers, you know, we have a strong belief. Now I'm gonna go down here and walk inside this valley.
So I just came from that pass, which is called Tamjin La Pass. <sighs> See? That really, really looks like Mount Kailas. I just discovered the small Mount Kailas. It's absolutely the same, except this mountain doesn't have any snow. I'm gonna go closer to that small Kailas and let's see if I can show you better. So in Tibet now, we have two Kailas. One with the snow, one without snow. Let's go closer to this mountain. All right. I'm going to stop somewhere here. I'm going to enjoy my lunch. Let's see if I can show you the small Kailash better from here or not. Sadly, I'm not going inside that. I'm going inside this valley. So that's my third day lunch box and an orange. I'm sure that it's a little bit stinky because I packed it all from Lhasa. So it's been like three days. I have packed a boiled potato and a meat because I need more protein. See? I told you it's a little bit stinky because of the weather. It's becoming warmer and warmer. Anyway, so this is what I packed for my lunch. I have started my tracking 9 a.m. and now it's 1 o'clock so 10, 11, 12 so it's been like 4 hours tracking and right now the temperature is 9 degree and the altitude is 5000 meter so for 4 hours 8 kilometer sounds good all right then I still have more seven kilometers and I'm gonna take a nap here for a while and I really enjoyed sleeping here on the grassland with the view of uh, small Kailas I'm just kidding I just checked the name of this mountain up there it's called Kula mountain but it's anyway it's really really similar to Mount Kailas Goodbye with Kula Mountain and for dessert I have a lollipop. So that's the north face of the small Kailash. Look the view down there. It's beautiful. Look at the color of those rocks. <coughs> See, it's really red. I think it's metal. See, lots and lots of metal. Look here. All this part is a red stone. Lots and lots of red stone. Let's go and see. If it is a metal or but I don't think it's a metal. Can you see a lonely yak over there? So that must be the wild yak. The size of the wild yak is like 800 to 1200 kilo 
and the normal yak that we raise at our home is more like 300 kilos 300 to the biggest will be 350 kilos so that's like triple times bigger the wild yaks are and the wild yaks are really really dangerous animal if they attack us they could kill us so be careful of wild yaks in tibet if you are trekking you might could see lots and lots of wild yak or wild bear all right i'm close to the pass and that might be the last view of the small kailash and bye bye latin village see all the way down there and look at this beautiful red color mountain here it's amazing it's a heaven i think that's a really good trekking route that you should do one day when you have time trekking at april is really really good because it's not that warm so the weather is just perfect except at night time you know it's a little bit cold and can you see the fence uh, so if you cross this fence it belongs to young Pachan. and inside this fence it belongs to Tsurpu so this is like a border between Tsurpu and young Pachan. guys i'm finally here on the pass last saddle up pass 5600 meter can you imagine that i made it to the highest point of the trekking last saddle up. Woo. i'm gonna show you the view going all the way down there into this valley more two hours and then I'll reach to the camping spot all right bye bye La Salle La Paz it's too windy and too high and too low oxygen so I should go down as soon as possible because I'm also having a little bit dizzy even in even if I'm a Tibetan, you know. Wow. Look down there, guys. So to go into this valley and see this is the Nianjin Tangla mountain range and tomorrow I'm going along the Nianjin Tangla mountain so beautiful must be from deer I think that's not from yak because the yak dangs are much bigger you see all the river here is frozen all the way down there Looks like a glacier. All the way down there. Wow. So 
So I came from there, the pass. Once you cross this pass, then you can enjoy the internet. And down there, I can see a normal tent. Let's go and ask for a butter tea. So for a long time, I haven't seen anyone. So that's the Tibetan nomad tent. Nomad people use this kind of tent in summer when they go ah, into mountains and they go with the yacht. Ah, no one is inside here. So that's how it looks like. No one is here. All right. So that's the Tibetan nomad tent. And it's made out of yak hair. See, if you touch it, it's really, really rough. Not that smooth, but it's a windproof, sunproof, and a waterproof. Right, then let's keep walking down. I'm not far from my camping spot. See, yak hair tents. I think they are much better quality than the tent that we are using because it's much warmer. I think that will be an interesting experience to sleep in normal tents like that. But one day I will surely do that. Ah, that makes sense. Because I can hear someone shouting from the mountain. They must be with the yaks and before sunset they comes back and they will use the tent. And in daytime, there's no one here, so the tent is empty. I'm getting closer and closer to those mountain, Yenjin Tangla mountain. Last night, the father, he, he told me that yaks to stay at home as a domestic animal they must have to cut the bowls or ovary so that they will be much more friendly with humans and from 100 yaks they will leave like one or two yaks for making baby interesting huh? go into this direction. I see the Nianjin Tangla mountain. So this is the right direction for the camping. You see? Parts of village. So this is where I'm gonna camp my third night from Tsurpu to Yangbachan Monastery. I still have like one kilometer more to go. Arthur village is a small beautiful village. I feel so so thirsty but luckily I'm here at Parzo village now and first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask the villagers that where can I camp and second thing is gonna ask for a hot soup or a warm butter tea. <laughs> oh, 
blue. Ah, I thought. Oh, that's the bird into the house. I don't know how he went into it. That's closed. I'm sorry, brother. I couldn't save you from that room. Look at this village. And the front view is the Nyanchen Tangla. I hope someone is at home. Look at the beautiful Tibetan house. Hello. Trashy delay. Hello, look at Zimba. ちょっとで。ああ。どこで the owner just told me that his house was built in 2017 so it's like five years old and he just told me that uh, I don't have to do camping because it's going to be super cool so that's why he wanted me to sleep inside his home that was really really kind and I'm so happy that he let me to stay overnight at his home. Now I'm gonna show you how my rooms looks like. So this is where I'm gonna sleep. It looks like it's a storeroom. There's lots and lots of bed here. So this is where I'm gonna sleep tonight. This is where he put his horse. ただですでるべ。うん。ただ、ポートリ。ただで。うん。ロカズレ。ただ、右。ただ。うん。ああ、もうただロカズでいればな。ただ右。ただ。うん。ああ、もうただロカズでいればな。ただ右。ああ、も
with a photo of Karmapa. He just offered me a black tea. What's your name, Bala? You got it, Kamburve. Kamburve. Oh, yeah, so peach, a dry peach. Bala, who are you? She. That's how you get it. So, what's your name? Sumba Nama. Sumba Nama. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going Pala de ro me vene. De ro? De ro e. Nani a ji 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 that's going to be my dinner. So I have a rice, a chili sauce, cabbage and some pork and also some sausage he's not willing to take any money he was keep telling me that he's rich enough so i don't know how to thank him a 60 years old man have cooked me a dinner which is really really delicious <laughs> Mm <laughs> and that's where the baby yaks are staying. The home for the baby yak. We have lots and lots of baby yaks. Looks cute. Yak to Kazuya Balal. Yak to Kazuya. Yak to Chunga. Talo Gabriel. Ah. They are all one years old. So when the yak is one years old, this is the size of the yak. You will tie all the baby yaks here so that they will be warmer inside home. See? Really, really cute eye. I'm a uh. <laughs> Lega mango shoot wa pala. At super young birds and trekking, you will mostly experience the nomad life in Tibet. So to experience the nomad life, this is the best place to do the trekking, to have an experience of nomad life in Tibet. You are doing toilet just in front of the door. Bad yak. So this is how they open the door. If they don't use the key, they just pull the string and then the door is opened. See? So that's how they open the door. 
That's my home. Here I have a really fancy alarm clock. It says eight, ten past eight already. But still outside, we still have a really strong light. And and in my phone it says 8.30 it will get dark so I still have like 20 minutes but yeah anyway uh, today I'm gonna have an early night because it's been like really exhausting day I've been walking like 22 kilometers today and for 22 kilometers I need to walk 34,000 34,000 steps and I burnt like 1,137 calories which is like my new record for this year so that was really fun today and I really enjoyed it so much and I hope that you also liked my video. So today is my third day trekking from Tsurpu to Yangbachen and tomorrow is going to be last day. This is another blessing day for me. Anyway, this is Jamyang. Welcome to Tibet. We are the one that can show you original Tibet. Thank you guys and see you tomorrow.